Whatever you want, you gotta go take it. No. Ain't nobody can give it to you. Let's go take what we want. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. When it comes to receivers, always bet on LSU. Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase are already stars. Odell Beckham Jr. is still a star when healthy. And there's another LSU receiver out there that should be but isn't a star yet by the name of DJ Chark. Chark would have been a first round pick if he was still at LSU when quarterback Joe Burrow was there. But Burrow didn't get there until Chark went to the Jacksonville Jaguars in the second round of the 2018 NFL Draft. Chark would have been a star in the NFL by now too, but he's had Blake Bortles, Gardner Minshew, and Trevor Lawrence as a rookie at quarterback. At 6'4", 210 pounds with 4'340 speed and a 40-inch vertical leap, his skill set is scary. So I'm telling you, quarterback Derek Carr and Chark would turn each other into stars. The Las Vegas Raiders offense would score a lot more points and it wouldn't cost as much as it would to sign Robinson. Let's check him out. I really don't see a problem in Chark's game. What's been holding him back are the guys throwing him the ball. His quarterbacks threw the ball to the wrong guy a little too often. This right here has to be one of the worst incompletions in NFL history. Now watch how wide open he gets on this go route. And the quarterback's gonna throw the ball out of bounds. And here it is again. Well, he kept it inbounds that time. And on this one, you wonder who was he throwing to? But Chark himself as a receiver had great hands. He's a hands catcher all the way, catching the ball out away from his body. And if you throw a low, he'll go down and get it. But those hands along with that height, length, and vertical leap give him a huge catch radius. Here in the scramble drill, you're gonna see he's pretty hard to miss. When in doubt, just throw it high and he will be the only one that can go up and get it. Well, what about when defensive backs are trying to swat the ball out of there? Oh yeah, he can catch the ball then too. Once he has it, that's it. The ball's not going anywhere. Here he pulls it in and secures it and it's too late for the DB to rip it away from him. Watch the strong hands through this contest here. Here he's gonna get that work as soon as he pulls it in but that ball isn't going anywhere. Here's another example of him catching it out away from his body. And the ball's already secure by the time the corner takes a jab at it.
Shark can also go over the middle or in any zone and catch the ball, finishing it through contact. He's going to take a big hit on this one. Catch it, take the hit, no problem. Yeah, that's how you move the chains right there. On this one, the corner's going to go low on him and hurt him, but he's still going to hold on to the ball. Here he's going to see the linebacker coming right at him, but that doesn't matter. All that matters to him is moving the chains. Now that we've established his hands, let's look at his route running, which is really good. He put his foot in the ground and separated there. Look at this route here. He gets plenty of separation and makes the catch. I'm going to say the same thing I always say about route running. Are you where you're supposed to be on time with separation? Watch what he does to his man here. Oh, lost him. He's gonna hit his man with a dub here. Oops. That was a nasty stutter go right there. And here comes another dub. This time it's gonna be an out and up. Shark is also good after the catches. Sometimes the Jaguars look to get the ball in his hands on bubble screens. Or he can do a little something with it after the catch on a short route. Oh. And you absolutely gotta love this one because it's third down and he just puts his head down to get the first down. this one here then he's gonna sneak out we're gonna hit him on the sidelines and oh if only he could have stayed in bounds this one has everything his route running his hands and his speed finishing in the end zone after the catch and of course with all that height length and speed he's good for the deep ball Shark is going to absolutely blaze his man on this one, but he has to slow down for the ball. And here the ball is going to be put out in front of him and he's going to make it all the way. And here he goes with one put out in front of him again. There aren't many that can run with him, and those that can't, they won't be able to jump with him when he goes up to get the ball. He out jumped two on that one. Watch him go up and get this one. The corner has no chance. Here's a nice adjustment on an underthrown ball. Here, he doesn't put his hands out to catch the ball to the last instant, so it's too late for the corner to swat it out. And here, he's fast enough to get a step on the corner, then step in front of the corner to get the ball. That's a good match for Carr, 
who has a big arm and is one of the best deep ball throwers since coming into the league. This one is beautiful. And I'm sure he would throw it up to give Chark a chance like he used to do with Michael Crabtree. Oh yeah, he would throw it up for Amari Cooper too. This is definitely the kind of pass Chark excels at catching. Which would really come in handy in the red zone. Carr's one of the best fade throwers in the league, and this is how Chark handles them. Watch the catch and toe tap on this corner route in the back corner of the end zone. I don't care if the coverage is man or zone, give Chark a fade in the red zone. Now this is an awesome catch and toe tap here. And all those fades, they set up the slant for some easy work. Chark is a great route runner that can hit you with the dub at any given moment. He also has great hands and hops to go up and get it when he needs to. Then there's that game-breaking speed he has to strike quickly from anywhere on the field. His height, hands, and hops make him an excellent red zone target. And he can run after the catch too to complete his dynamic skill set that can really help Carr and the Raiders. Thank you for watching. See you next time.